in six hours, week 18 will officially be upon us. The last week of football is here. At midnight on Sunday, the regular season will be over. Some teams will be celebrating because they made the playoffs and now have a chance at the Super Bowl. And others will be weeping because they just missed out, kind of like the Chargers last year. This is a big week to make, to make, <laughs> Caden, shut up. I just wanted to rub it in. The Chargers don't make the playoffs that often. They finally did it though. Good job, Chargers. Um, either way, this is a big week for, you know, sports betting. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like there's a lot of players that have incentives to hit. Oh yeah. There's a couple players that only need less than a hundred yards receiving, less than five catches in a game, less than a hundred yards passing, and they get half a million dollars. In incentives so it's a really big week there's a lot of teams that are going to be resting starters so that makes things go crazy it makes everything wild and it's a really exciting time in week 18. welcome to the kna football podcast All right, Caden, you said you had something to say? Well, yeah. When you brought up the incentives just then, like a lot of players, like if they get like five catches, they'll reach their bonus and they get like a million dollar bonus. Like yeah. I think Christian Kirk needs like four catches and a couple yards to get a million dollar bonus. So it's like a big deal for a lot of players. And I saw something earlier this week. And when you're scrolling through Instagram or something and you see something like it's if if, if it's funny, like you'll chuckle. But you don't really laugh like very loud, like like dying of laughter. I saw something when I was scrolling through Instagram this week, and I burst out laughing. Like I don't know when if I've ever laughed so hard just looking at something like on Instagram or on my phone. I saw something because incentives this week, mm -hmm. and uh, everyone knows that Kenny Gall. You might have seen it, Kenny Galladay. Did you see it? I didn't see this. So he he's. He was a huge, he was a good receiver at, uh, at the Lions. Yeah. And then he came to New York, got a huge contract, and he's just been horrible. Like, he has four catches on the season. Uh, he, he's he's really struggled. He's, it's kind of like a meme, how bad he is and how he's, like, robbing money for this high contract and he does nothing. And I was scrolling, and I saw something, and it was like, Kenny Galladay needs only 76 catches on <laughs> Sunday for, like, $750,000. Like, it was so funny. I, I highly recommend following like NFL memes. Yeah. I think that's what it's called on Instagram. Very funny account. That made me like laugh so hard. I, I don't know why. When you brought up incentives, I just came to my mind. I started laughing again and I just thought I had to share that for some reason. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a fun thing to look into. Look at what players like really underperformed the season and then how far off they were. From oh, I think, incentives. I think he's like the, he's right, one of the, yeah, he's gotta be the, the I, I saw something too. This wasn't an incentive, but it was like Russell Wilson needs just like 79 touchdown passes to break the NFL record on Sunday. <laughs> like something so stupid. This is funny. Yeah. Fun stuff. But yeah, it's really a fun week in the NFL. I'm not going to lie. I mean, there's a couple big games. Like there's a lot of games that for teams to get into the playoffs, they need to win. There's a lot of games where it can help their seeding if they win, or in a couple of situations, it helps their team if they lose. Mm -hmm. uh, most notably, like the Bears. If they lose and the Texans accidentally win against the Colts, which very is very real possibility like, for it, sure. It's a possibility. Like the Texans are so bad, I wouldn't be shocked if they lost bad too. Like it's a very real possibility the Bears end up with the number one pick, which would more than likely be. They'd trade back. And, oh, I would. Yeah, pick up so much capital, help their team. Yeah, like, and then still draft a great guy absolutely. like six or seven. Like, mm -hmm. it's really interesting going into this last week. A lot of playoff. There's still a lot of uh, playoff spots still to be won. So it's going to be a lot of. There's a huge game tonight in the, uh, yeah. for the AFC South title: the Titans and the Jags. Yeah, whoever wins, they're in. Yeah, I still do have a concussion, but. I'm going to watch this game. Like I, I, I don't care at this point. Like yeah. I have to see this football game. football over brain. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's all right. But I am getting better. Yeah. But yeah, so I will be watching this game. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot. But it's gonna be a fun week. It should be. Speaking of getting better, in case you guys didn't see, Demar Hamlin is awake. He's speaking on his own. He's breathing on his own. He's like good. The doctors think that he's going to make a full neurological recovery. So that's all very good. 
But, Caden, we were talking before the show that the NFL will not be rescheduling, replaying, re-anything the bills Bengals game. Like, they're just... The game isn't played. So, I don't fully understand it. So, <laughs> what what does that mean for the playoffs? Right. So, they said that the Bengals-Bills game counts as just a no contest. So, the Bengals and Bills will both have played 16 games at the end of the season, while everyone else will play 17. And so, the way I understood it and heard from when I was listening to, like, NFL Network and stuff was, like, so if the Bengals and Bills play in the Super Bowl, or not yeah. The Bengals and Bills play in the AFC Championship. The Bills will have home home field advantage because they were they had a better record and they were the better team. But if the Bills play the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, it'll be played at a neutral site. If the Bengals play the Chiefs in the AFC Championship, it'll be played at a neutral site. So if one of those two teams plays the Chiefs in uh, the playoffs or the AFC Championship, it will be at a neutral site. I think if they play any other team just whoever has the better record will have home field advantage. I don't think it'll affect it. But then there is another thing that's like the Bengals and the Ravens because the Bengals technically hadn't clinched the AFC North going into this next week. Cause if they would have lost to the Ravens, I think the Ravens would have passed them. But since the whole no contest thing, the Bengals ultimately ended up clinching the AFC North. So they have, so that they're going to have a home playoff game. Maybe because if the Ravens beat the Bengals on Sunday, if the Bengals and the Ravens play in the playoffs at any time, they'll do a coin flip to determine who has home field. Well, it, a lot of it doesn't make sense. I'm sure it'll make sense as we go. I think the NFL would choose maybe the most confusing way to resolve all of this. Probably. Hey, I'm sense? I'm pretty confused by the whole I'm thing. Very, I mean, I'm does, trying to explain. I'm confusing yeah. myself as I'm talking to you. Does anyone get the one seed going into the playoffs? I guess there's still a chance it's that anyone the, takes the one seed, right. or did the Chiefs just get it at this point? I think, man, I don't know. I, I'm assuming it's Kansas City just ultimately has it because they were, well, maybe. I, I really, it's so confusing. I mean, because the to Bills me. will probably win this week. They're playing the Patriots. Maybe because they are, they might not be in the right headspace after everything that happened. Who maybe knows? Yeah, that's true. The Chiefs play the Raiders today at 425, which is, I mean, the Chiefs are probably going to win that because they can still take the one seed, so they're probably still going to want it. They have a lot of players like Patrick Mahomes who need like 300 yards for a $500,000 incentive. And the Bengals play the Ravens, who in my opinion, the Bengals probably win that. So all of three of these teams will probably just end up in the same position that we're in. So who gets the one seed? Right, so I think as Kansas City wins, they get it. If they lose... No man, it gets it's really confusing and it'll get interesting. We'll find out, I guess. Yeah, as we'll we find go. out after the everyone's week. Everyone's learning as we go. Everyone's probably just as confused Even as everyone NFL else. Probably just the only one who probably knows what's going on is Roger Goodell because he <laughs> made the weird thing. Personally, I think they should have just done a coin flip for the one, two, and three seats. Uh, yeah, probably would have made the, a lot more sense to people. The, the, the Bills. Okay, you want heads or tails? Okay, it's heads. You get the one seed, and then Chiefs Bengals. What do you guys want? And then. Just do that the whole way down until you get those top three. Exactly. But, you know, we'll figure it out as we go. It's a fun experience, and maybe we'll, uh, maybe, maybe we'll figure it out, or maybe it'll just happen. We're like, oh, oh, we're in the Super Bowl now. And okay. It's, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. Let's get into our pickums for this week. This week's K and A pickums. Debbie's got this. Debbie's doing a lot of work back there. Yeah. Debbie. Debbie, Debbie got us new mics, True. new setup. The new setup is pretty much complete. I think. Yeah. We still, we got to get some new lights still, but we got the new mics, so yeah. it should sound good. Hopefully it sounds good. I haven't listened to it yet. Debbie says it sounds good. Hopefully it translates well into the yeah. podcast and YouTube world. Uh, who yeah, knows? For sure. All right. So first game today is the Chiefs are playing at the Raiders. Um, yeah. Your phone. Baby. My phone? Yeah. So Debbie, give Debbie my phone. Yeah, it's not suspicious. Oh yeah, Debbie was. So was texting. Me. Oh, oops, oopsies. <laughs> so Chiefs playing at Raiders. Um, like we said, the Chiefs have allegedly potential to get the one seed. No one's really sure. <laughs> uh, the Raiders will be playing for pride. Pretty much nothing. Um, I'm sure that they'll play to win because the Chiefs are in their division and. I 
would completely understand wanting to mess up the Chiefs, you know, opportunities because that's what I would do if uh-huh. I was in the division, just me personally. And the Raiders obviously won't be playing with Derek Carr. Um, they'll be playing with Jared Stidham again, which he did very well last he, week. He did against a good defense. Against a very good defense. So we'll see if it was kind of a beginner's luck sort of thing or if he actually is, you know, good. But <laughs> look, for me, I don't think I'm not going to dwell too much on this. I think the Chiefs are going to win. I think they're the better team and the Raiders just aren't. Like, just, I'm not going to dwell on that too much. Yeah, Jared Stidham played good last week. Almost beat the Niners, but let's be real. He's not beating Patrick Mahomes. I don't care. I mean, the Raiders, I'm sure half the Raiders players are just waiting for this week to be over. Josh Jacobs probably leaving this offseason. Um, Derek Carr, or Derek Carr is already gone, but he's not even playing. Uh, Devontae Adams, very good chance he leaves. I mean, there's a lot of question marks yeah. for this team. They don't like their coach. It's going to be a lot of question marks to see what happens. So Yeah, this will be a team to watch in the offseason for, for sure. sure. There's going to be a lot do. of storylines with a lot of teams. This will be one of the bigger stories and teams to follow yeah. for sure. I mean, looking at you know this team before the season, I mean, we thought that the AFC West was going to be the powerhouse division. You know, we thought that at, like there was a chance that all four teams could make the playoffs in this division and it turns out only two make the playoffs and the Chiefs are just as good as they were before. There were a lot of question marks for them before the season too and just the Broncos and Raiders just did not meet expectations whatsoever. Nope. But yeah, not too much to talk about there. Chiefs win, and even if they don't, no big deal. Yeah, not a whole lot. Of Maybe we really don't know. Yeah, we really don't know what the implications <laughs> are. But the Chiefs aren't going anywhere in the playoffs. They're really, just playing for the one seed. This is a huge game a, in the AFC yeah. South. Oh yeah, this is Titans at Jaguars, and that does matter. Which matters a whole lot. The Jaguars earlier this year, just a couple weeks ago, a month ago, beat the Titans at home. 36-22. So the Titans were at home. That was their home field advantage. Now, it's the Jaguars' home field advantage. And the Titans don't have Ryan Tannehill. They're starting the rocket scientist. They're starting Josh Dobbs. <laughs> I, you know, when it comes to Week 18, and you're like, okay, both of these teams can make the playoffs. I really do expect it to be a competition. Right, we'll get to it later. The Packers play the Lions, and it's the same situation. Like whichever one of those teams win, they're in the playoffs. Basically, maybe for, yeah. for those two. Basically, that way. For these two teams, I while it's whoever wins is in. I think that one team is substantially better than the other. I, I agree. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, the Jaguars are going to win this game, and I don't like. I hope it's a good game. I really do. I want to watch a good game tonight. But I don't feel like it's going to be very close. And even if the score says it's close, the way that they play isn't... It's not going to be a good game. The Jaguars are going to win. Yeah. I mean, Trevor Lawrence has been rolling the second half of the season. The Jaguars have... I guess as a team have been rolling the second half of the season. Doug Peterson's been a great coach for them. And Trevor Lawrence's second season, he's probably going to get them into the playoffs. So I'm I'm also going Jaguars. I, They're... I mean, yeah, the Titans got Derrick Henry, but aside from that, they don't got any receivers. They're starting Josh Dobbs at quarterback. They're, they've lost what, like seven in a row? Yeah. I mean, a throwback to like, I don't even know what week it was, but when we had my dad on the show and the Titans and the Bengals were playing, he said, like, we, we were previewing that game. He's like, this could be the AFC Championship, which at the time looked like, yeah, it definitely could be. The Titans were rolling. The Bengals are obviously still very good chance of doing that, but the Titans now, there's a very real chance that they don't even make the playoffs. I mean, they are yeah. struggling. They lost to the Texans a couple weeks ago. I mean, Jaguars, yeah. I'm at home. Best, best of luck, Jags. You you control your own destiny. Yeah, for the first time, probably like <laughs> probably since the year they went to the AFC Championship with their in Saxonville, their yeah. incredible defense. Yeah. For sure, it should be. Hopefully, it's it's, it's gonna be interesting because, like, yeah, we'll see. Why are these logos so big on the screen? <laughs> the other ones are all small, and this one's like, boom, huge. <laughs> all right, so now we're into the Sunday slate. Those are the two Saturday games yeah. today. 
and our end of the Sunday slate. So, Browns at Steelers. What are you thinking for this one, Caden? Dude. Mike Tomlin. We, we said it last week. We said it the week before. He can squeak into the playoffs. And he can get his, like, what, 17th straight winning season. Yeah, sounds right. With this yeah. team, going into the year with Mitch Trubisky at quarterback. Yeah. It's, it's, it's insane. Yeah. I would really love, I'd, like, this is, this is it for the Browns. This you know, is the Browns Super Bowl. This is our Super Bowl. <laughs> like, we we didn't make the playoffs, and we knew that like two weeks ago that we weren't going to be in the playoffs, and it was unfortunate. Even though our our, our margin there to make it in was you know less than one percent, so this is our biggest game in the year, and we can do it. Like I feel like we can beat the Steelers. It could happen. The Steelers, I don't feel like are very good. They've just been barely squeaking to these wins they barely beat the ravens without lamar jackson and the ravens have just like been so lucky to squeak out wins without him they've yeah they barely beat the ravens i feel like we can do it i have a note here okay it's only three words okay it's three words and i feel like if we can do these three words we we can win this game. Run the ball. It, that, you got it. Yeah. It's it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how you understand it and I understand it. And yeah. We both understand it. And Kevin Stefanski doesn't seem to understand it. <laughs> but yeah, run the ball. It's like, it's not that difficult. If we do that, I feel like we can win this game. You know, we, we chew clock. We gain yards. It's going to be crazy. And even if Watson drops back to pass, listen to this, design run. Watson just runs. Like, st- stop passing the ball. We'll just run the ball all game and we can win this game. Yeah. I mean, it's a very real possibility the Browns win if they run the ball, which I don't think they're going to do. I don't either. So I, with that, and the Steelers, they have a lot of lot to play for. They can still squeak into the playoffs. Tomlin's coaching, I mean, he doesn't probably care about the stats, but an- another winning season, I'm going to pick the Steelers. There's a lot of tensions that seem like they're brewing on the Browns' defense. Yeah. With uh, Jadavion Clowney saying... He's 95%. I don't know how you get that number, but he's 95% sure that he's... <laughs> it makes no sense. Like, okay. He's 95% sure that he's leaving the Browns next season. And then uh, Miles Garrett uh, came out and like kind of threw a shot at him and said, like, we want volunteers, not, what, hostages or something like that. Like, talking about Clowney and, like, kind of, like, seems like tensions are building because he doesn't want to be there anymore and, like, they're angry. So, yeah. Steelers have a lot more to play for. I know I know the Browns do have a lot to play for. They can eliminate the Steelers from playoff contention. They can give Tomlin a losing season. But that doesn't we matter. We can finish third in the division, not finish on but, the bottom. But big, technically, big deal. honestly, as a Browns fan, I know you really... And this sounds weird. This sounds stupid. But a lot of these teams that are like battling for third and fourth, the way the scheduling works out is... So if you finish fourth in your division, your division plays a division from the AFC a division from the NFC, a random team from the AFC. It's randomized, I think. And then um, say you finish fourth in the AFC. You'll pl- your whole division might play the AFC West, but then you, as the last place finisher in the AFC North, you would play the last place team in the AFC East and in the AFC South. And first place plays the first. So it's honestly like, if it's a meaningless thing like this, the Browns don't own their pick. It's like, yeah, you can eliminate the team from the playoffs, but like maybe you can get that last place schedule and and play the last place team like up the Broncos next season and the Texans instead of finishing one above like in third and instead you're playing the well, the Raiders still aren't good and like the uh, um crap what team's third and eight? Colts. Colts. Oh, well, I, that's a bad example, but like you're playing the fourth place schedule instead of the third place schedule, you know? So, it, like, it's sort of, I mean, it's not a huge deal. Yeah. But I, it, I feel like that's something that's so in the back of the mind. Right. But like, of coaches and managers. Right. I mean, I mean, the coach still matter at all, but as a fan, you got to think, like, okay, this gives us an easier schedule next season, you know? A little bit. Yeah. That's one of those things where it's like, my team sucks and here's the silver lining. Yeah. That's what I, I mean, it's, it's stupid, but like, 
it's something that I've always thought about because the Panthers have been bad for so long. I'm like, hey, at least we get to play the fourth place <laughs> schedule next year. But yet, we're just as bad as those teams, so we're probably still going to lose. But it's like, it's something to think about. It is. But, but I still uh, hope we win. Right. I mean, yeah, I would too. I'm, I think the Steelers won, though, personally. Fair enough. All right. Bengals. Bengals are at home. So Ravens at Bengals. Bengals two home games in a row, but they didn't play the last one. Um, let's see. So both the Bengals and Ravens are in the playoffs. I don't feel like they can really move. Who? The Ravens or, or the Bengals? Ravens or the Bengals. Yeah. I don't really know. We don't really know the Bengals. The top three seeding is really yeah. going right now. So yeah. like you said, though, like the Bengals, it, it's kind of like a NFC East situation where it's like the Bengals had a chance at the one seed, but they still haven't locked the division, which is... No, they have now. But now they have. Right. But it was just a weird situation, and now that they have the division, they're playing for the one seed, apparently. Again, don't really know how that works. Um, the Ravens haven't, like I said earlier, the Ravens haven't looked good without Lamar Jackson. And they, he's not playing And he's not game. playing in this game, which is, you know, clearly, I mean, the Ravens are already in the playoffs. They're clearly just saving him for when they get to the playoffs. Smart move. Which is pretty smart right there. Uh, that wasn't sarcasm either. Like That's like, why would you play mm -hmm. him and have him get hurt again to where he can't play in the postseason when you can't have him play in the postseason? So it makes sense. And the Ravens just have so many injuries. Like, if you go through their injury report, it's like... Pages. <laughs> everybody. Like, it's so many people. You know who the Bengals have injured? I don't know. They have two players injured. Okay. Eli Apple... Is he's not even good. He's not good. Sorry, Eli. You played for Ohio State. You did pretty good there, but you're not good. And he's only listed as questionable. He's not even like Dolph Lara. He's just questionable. And then Sam Hubbard. Oh, he's good. He is good, yeah. but he's not listed as anything. So it's like, whatever. He's like probably not even injured. So the Bengals have zero injuries, probably because they only played half a quarter of football last week. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> they pretty much and, had a bye week. Yeah. yeah, they pretty much had a bye week on Sunday. They practiced all week didn't play and now they get the same thing again so it's i don't feel like this is going to be much of a competition i'm sorry like the Bengals are going to win this and the ravens keep on squeaking out these like lucky wins or lucky close games against teams the falcons against right, even right. bad teams that they should lose to without lamar like if the ravens don't come back at lamar jackson this offseason with all the money in the world with all of the money in the world they're stupid like, they're so bad without him. I know they're not going to do it because mm -hmm. they don't have the money for it. But like, he is the entire team. Like, they have zero offense without him. Their offense is so one-dimensional. It's just run the ball. And that's all they have. And the Bengals are not going to be a team where you squeak a lucky win against. You have to play hard and you have to play good if you want to beat the Bengals. Yeah. I mean, I don't care if the Sam Hubbard and Eli Apple don't play. It doesn't matter the story. The, what matters is Lamar Jackson's not playing, and they, like you said, they've looked horrible without him. He's been their whole offense all season, and without him, they are nothing. There's, they're gonna lose. Bengals pretty much have a long week. I mean, they didn't really play. Yeah. They played a half of a quarter. I mean, Bengals. I, I guess they could still get the one seed. We don't really know how that works. Um. I guess if the, like, the Bills lose and the Chiefs lose and the Bengals win, they could still take it. But the Bengals and Chiefs, or the Bills and Chiefs aren't losing. Yeah, I, it, yeah we don't really. We're going to stop speculating on what We'll, we'll know there. on Monday, on Monday's recap episode, how it all works, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, Bengals win this one more than likely. Yeah. Yeah. Completely agree with that. All right, this is... It's a, it's an, it's a weird game. It is. Because if you look at it, it's like, all right, yeah, for sure, the uh, Vikings Vikings are gonna win this. I like, I need like a better way to like organize my notes here. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so you're like, for sure, the Vikings are going to win this. I just lost it. Caden, keep talking. Okay, oh, so it. for sure, the Vikings are gonna win this. <laughs> yeah, that's about how far I got. Um, but it's also like the Vikings have the three seed. Like at the moment, and they can't go down. Like they're not going to the fourth seed. They're the three seed, and they could go up. They could go mm -hmm. up if the if the Forty ers lose. 
newsflash, the 49ers aren't going to lose. It's football. It's they're week 18. The, they're playing the Cardinals, and the 49ers have a chance to take okay, the one yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah, so the 49ers aren't losing. But if the Cowboys... I mean, t- mathematically, it's not impossible. They could get the one seed. If the Eagles lose, if the Cowboys lose, and if the Niners lose, they get the one seed. Probably not realistic, but like four, one, two, yeah, four teams in the NFC all have chances of getting the one seed, which is crazy. Like no team is locked up. Any of the top four seeds could be in any order. Yeah. Not mean, top four, top three, and then five. Right, which is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, they could move up the bears kind of like need to lose and justin fields isn't playing in this game so like that nathan you, peterman's playing right it tells yeah, you everything that tells you, yeah it tells you everything exactly. you need to know the bears are tanking for the pick and they're hoping that the texans accidentally win against the colts which like we said could happen so i'm gonna take the vikings but i'm scared to start anyone on the vikings i mean I am one of the minority weird people. People, it, it's not by choice. It's ESPN's fault, and it's uh, Daniel it's Daniel Lecam- Lecam- It's Daniel fault. Lecam- yeah. fault for being the commissioner of the league, and I think he's the commissioner. <laughs> but and having us play our, the second leg of the championship game, week eighteen, which is fun because I would have scored eighty-eight points last week. <laughs> Bad news. Um, so. I'd be. I'm kind of scared to start Vikings players. I'm not going to lie because it's like if they go up by a substantial amount at like halftime, which they probably will, they're probably going to end up sitting Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, like every big name guy. They're sitting because they want to make sure that they're healthy for the playoffs next week. They don't want to attempt. They they don't want to get hurt. And if they're going to win, they're going to win, and they're not going to right. really try much. No point of risking injury when there's a good chance you play next week. Because you'll probably have that two or the three seed. Right. Right. So I'm going to take the Vikings. Yeah. Which, like, it's not really a question of, like, who's going to win. It's, like, how much are they going to win by? How much are they going to win by? Because the Bears aren't going to try to win. Yeah. You know? I mean, not starting fields tells you all you need to know. They probably lose with fields because I think we've said it every single episode this season. He has no help. Fields is their whole offense. And now without fields... They don't have. They an don't offense. have an offense. It's literally going to be Vikings, whatever they want. Bears, whatever the Vikings want the Bears to have. Like it's going to be or whatever the Bears want because the Bears right, don't. Right. The Bears might either. not try to score. I mean, the Bears are just going to punt on first down. <laughs> yes, yeah, first down. It's punting away. We need to get our. De- we need to like get the. Uh, we need to like. Get develop the develop our defense, you know, because yeah. our defense struggled this year, so we need to develop them, have them on the field for like practice reps more. Oh, that's a good idea. It's a good idea right there. <laughs> spicy right there. I'm sure the fans would love it there in Chicago. I'm sure. Punt on first down. All right, so we have a couple questions from Jack. Thanks for commenting. Um, two Lions questions. First one. I wonder if he's a Lions fan. Actually, well, I have possibly. No idea. Uh, should the Lions send the send the Rams a uh, fruit basket to help contribute t- to their hopefully hopefully <laughs> their win? Probably <laughs> they need that. Um, and the second question is: Will Detroit be better off with a Rams loss? Sorry, I'm trying to read this. Will Detroit be better off Ooh, Rams by. <laughs> with a Rams loss Yucks. and better oh. chance at better pick on draft? I think he's. Yeah, uh, I know what he yeah, means. Yeah, yeah. So like, we know what he means. Obviously, the Rams own or the the Lions own the Rams' first round pick because of the Matthew Stafford trade, which has been great trade for the Lions because the Rams have really sucked this year. So they're going to have a very high pick. I think they would definitely benefit from a Rams loss because that would put the Rams higher up in the draft order. That give the Lions a higher pick. Yeah, and additionally, the Lions need the Rams to lose. The, oh, duh. I didn't even think that they can get in the play. I, yeah, yeah, the, the Lions need to beat the Packers right, and right. have the Rams lose. Or so. No, they need the Seahawks, the Seahawks to lose. To lose. Oh, oh, see, this adds a... Okay. Oh, right. I, was like, I see your I was like, question. There's no way that this is... Yeah, okay. Oh, I like, okay. No I, right. I, that's a great question. Oh, my. That was... Dang, we, just, we hit it at the same time. We understood. Yeah, it's like, oh, All right. wait a minute. That's not yeah, right. That's our apologies, Jack. We didn't... Un- that's his name, Jack. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Our apologies. We we did not realize, but if I'm a Lions fan, I'm rooting for the Rams to win. 
I mean, yeah, it would help you guys if the Rams would lose because you get a higher pick. But if the Rams lose, you're not making the playoffs. So, like, what's more important to you, jumping from maybe the sixth pick to the fourth pick or getting a playoff berth? I think if you ask any Lions fan, they're going to say they want a playoff berth yeah. over two picks higher. Yeah, if you ask any Lions player, if you ask the Lions right. coach or the Lions manager, like, they know that it's, like, well, yeah, the pick is helpful. And like a lot of teams do tank for the picks and they hope that other teams lose so they can get better picks because it's important. You, especially those honestly first 10 picks, like those are your big name players. Those are the big name stars from college. But I didn't even think that was a great question. Yeah. But the, uh, the energy that you get and the culture you get in the locker room from making the playoffs yeah, is for sure like so much more valuable than any top 10 pick that you can have for sure that brings in that attracts free agents that that gives you prime time games next season i mean it gives you publicity and like you you haven't made the playoffs in so long as the lions yeah and anything could happen once you get there maybe you go on a little magical run maybe not the super bowl but you can make it far yeah you can make it two three and, and it doesn't matter possible. for your pick the line you're still gonna have the rams pick which is gonna be top 10 so I think as a Lions fan, you definitely are rooting for the Rams, even though it would technically hurt some of your draft position. It's all right. Yeah, I agree. Good right. question. Thank you for yeah. the question, Jack. Very good questions. Um, he has a third question here. Um, why aren't teams sitting stars yet if they're not going to the playoffs right. for a better pick? And uh, who should be playing to lose for the pick? Good questions. Yeah, good question. My man, you you yeah, facts. asking Being great questions. Like, yes. I like these are great. Like some of the yeah. best questions I honestly think we've had. Um, so I think the teams because I'm also surprised by that. Like there's normally when you get to week 18, even sometimes 17, a lot of people are resting their starters because like what's the point of having them hurt? But I think the reason is there's really no one that's clinched the one seed or like the two seed or like something like that. Like everything's technically up for grabs. I think you're going to see a lot of Giants players resting because they can't go up or down. Yeah. You're going to see a lot of Bucks players resting because they can't go up or down right. and maybe Chargers because they can't really move much. Right. But for all the other teams, I mean, the Eagles, they have to win to clinch their division still. Uh, Like the Viking, like we said, the Vikings, the Niners, they can Cowboys. still Cowboys. They can still all even get the one seed. Cowboys can win their division. I mean, teams have a lot to play for still this week. So it's like, yeah. I think I think a lot of times at halftime of these games, you're going to see people resting, but they need to jump out to that lead because they still have a lot to play for. And then back in the AFC, we talked about the whole confusing uh, playoff picture now because of the whole cancellation of the game and everything. So nothing's really clinched. So it's really interesting. Yeah, it definitely makes things interesting because. Like you said, a lot of players will sit week 17, week 18, because they already made the playoffs. They already clinched their spot. There's nothing to play for. But I like this a lot better. I do like this a lot better where yeah. everything's up for literally everything other than the four seed in each yeah. you know, conference is up for grabs. You can move anywhere. You can get better positions. And it's just pretty much chaos. And so everyone's going to play unless, like you said, you're the Giants chargers like box yeah. other than that everyone's gonna play it's really interesting because you could look next monday like right now you can look at the picture the playoff picture and then monday almost half the things are could be different so yeah it's gonna be interesting for sure yeah a lot of fun all right um we have determined that he is indeed a detroit lions fan <laughs> um <laughs> and i think he's trying to figure out what basically what he's saying is that so if the Lions get in the playoffs, he doesn't see them making a deep run. So if they lose like one of their first games, they're not they're not going to go to the Super Bowl this year. And so he's saying, wouldn't it be a better idea for them to just get the pick instead of trying to make that deep run, which they're probably not going to get? I mean, it's not really the, it's out of the rant of the Lions control. I mean, it's technically what are you rooting for? I mean, I think as a Lions fan, you root for the playoffs because, first of all, anything could happen. I mean, yeah, they're realistically not making it, but the Lions are really hot right now. I mean, aside from the Panthers game, what, two weeks ago? I mean, they were, they're on a roll. They've only lost like two games in their last nine, ten games. I mean, they're rolling. Sure, they might not make it to the Super Bowl, but that's so good for your culture. It's so good for the fans and the players. It makes yeah. people want to be there and play for the coach. I mean... And it's only going to be like a two-pick difference. I mean, the Lions, they're a pretty good team. I mean, 
yeah, they're still they're not there yet. They still need to draft some players and sign some players, but it's not like you're in desperate need of a super high pick. I mean, you're, you're a very good chance of being a playoff team. Yeah, I mean, and like that, those picks are going to be like pretty close between the Rams pick and your pick, realistically speaking, because the Rams pick that you're going to get is going to be like, I don't know, maybe the sixth spot. And then your pick as the Lions still having your first real pick, you're going to be in like the 14th spot. Mm -hmm. So like, because you're probably going to make an early exit, let's be real. But you could make it deep, so you're going to be in the 14th spot, maybe the 16th spot in the draft. So like you're going to be pretty close there. And realistically, you're going to get two pretty good name players, right? Probably an offensive lineman, and then someone on defense, and that's what you're going to do. I mean, say you squeak in as the seventh seed, and Min- a couple of things happen. Say you're the seven, Minnesota's the two. You're playing Minnesota first round. Flashback a couple of weeks ago, you destroyed them. I mean, anything could happen right there. Boom, you're in the divisional. You play maybe Philly or Dallas. I mean, yeah, those are very tough teams, especially yeah. if it's Dallas. They always struggle in the playoffs. I mean. Anything could happen. Yeah, and here's here's what really is. So on Sunday at 425, the Seahawks play the Rams. Whatever the outcome of that game is, that's what then you're rooting for right. in your game. True, yeah. Because yeah. you don't play until, whatever, 820 on Sunday. You're the last game. So whatever happens in that Seahawks-Rams game, if the Rams were to win, now you're hoping that you win. You're hoping that you win. But if the Seahawks win, then it doesn't matter. And yeah. then you just get the pick. So sure. really... Your biggest game of the year happens at 425. And you have Sunday. no And you have thing. no way yeah. to control it, and the Lions have no way to... Yeah. Good but, questions, though. Yeah, very good questions. And as a Lions fan, you really haven't had much to look forward to, like, much to root for in Week 18, except for you clinching the number one pick and stuff in the last however many years. So this it's exciting. Like, Lions are good, and I, I like yeah. it. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Patriots at Bills... Again, last time I'm going to mention it. No idea what's happening for the one seed. No. But this game does have a lot of implications because the Bills could get the one seed, allegedly, and the Patriots are trying to squeak into the playoffs. And the only way that that happens is they need to beat the Bills. I think there is another way that they can get in, but their easiest path is to beat the Bills. Yeah, so they need to beat... What was that? For the NFC. AFC. For the AFC. So the Patriots could squeak into the seventh seed if they beat the Bills or... The Chiefs clinched the number one seed. They have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they've clinched. I, I'm saying I'm saying for the Patriots to get into the seventh seed. I know, seed. but for the oh, thing, okay. they have clinched the one, according to yeah. Debbie. Oh, they so have? So according yeah, to Google, the Chiefs have According to Google, oh, oh I got you, I got you. Number one seed. <laughs> okay. All right, well, yeah. there you go. Chiefs are the one seed. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. Chiefs are one seed. Never mind. Chiefs won't be playing anyone. <laughs> Oh, um, that's true. That's true. The Chiefs might not play. Well, but they will need them incentives. Yeah, incentives. Either way, we already picked the game, so there's yeah. no going back <laughs> now. So the Patriots can clinch the seven seed and be that last team into the AFC if they beat the Bills, which realistically, not going to happen. Or Dolphins, Steelers, and Titans lose, which is another real possibility. So the Patriots could still lose this game and make it into the playoffs, which could very well happen. But in this game, I don't think that that's... This is their easiest path, and I don't think that it's going to happen for them. I think the Bills will probably win this. Yeah, I mean, looking at it, it's like, man, the Bills are going to kill them. You know, it's in Buffalo, all that stuff. But coming off of what they came off of Monday night, first of all, short week. I mean, sure, they didn't play, yeah. but they had to travel back, got back late. The whole, obviously, DeMar Hamlin situation I mean, clearly messed with the players. Players were bawling their eyes out. I mean, they couldn't play, finish the game, obviously, but like... I don't think that they can be in the headspace to go win. I think there's two potential scenarios for this. Either the Bills come out firing and they're just like, look like the most unstoppable team ever because they want to do it for DeMar and all that stuff. Or they come out and they look dead because it's completely messed with them. And like, they just saw their teammate literally die on the field. Thankfully he is okay, but it messes with you. So I think, and the Patriots have a lot to play for. And you know who would make the whole playoff picture even more confusing? A Bills loss. So that's what's yeah. going to happen. I, I actually think the Patriots are going to win. Like, <laughs> Matt Patricia is the only reason I'm actually, like, like really upset for picking this. Because, like, I don't, I'm not confident in his play calling. But Josh Allen, 
he's a great quarter. He's the MVP, but he throws a lot of interceptions. And the Patriots defense, like, lead the league in pick sixes and defensive touchdowns. And I think that they're going to get one this game. I'm going to go Patriots, make the whole AFC picture even more confusing. Look, the Bills could come out and play, like, the greatest team ever with the whole thing that happened Monday night. Or they could come out and look dead. Right. I think that they'll be more dead than unstoppable. I think that it'll come down to player for player. Like, there are some players that are going to come out and they're going to look good, and there are some players that are going to come out and they're going to look Right, I think the defense will look more shaken than the offense, because obviously, DeMar Hamlin was on, was a safety on the defense. He's closer to all of them than the offense. Yeah. I'm going to go Bills. I think that they're better. I I look for them to be, I mean, they're going to be wearing the number three patch. I think all the NFL is going to be wearing three. Are they? Yeah. I saw that the, the Bills were permitted by the NFL to wear the three and everyone in the league uh, is going to be painting yeah. the three on the 30 yard line, either bills, red or bills blue. Um, I don't know that. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go bills for this game. I think they'll take it. It, it would mess with a lot of stuff. <laughs> if the bills lost, that would just make everything so confusing, but it, I mean, anything can happen any given Sunday. Yeah. I don't think the Patriots have it in them though, but you never know. Yeah. We'll see. This is interesting as well. It's the same division. Every team is playing divisional games this week. Yeah. I don't know if it... Yeah. That's what it's always been, week 18. But, so Jets, Dolphins, again, both of these teams, the Jets are eliminated, but the Dolphins have a very real chance of getting in. I don't know exactly what they need. Do you have it or no? Yeah. So, I'm going to flip back. (laughs) Dolphins, to get in, they need to beat the Jets and the Patriots have to lose. Right. So, I mean, that could happen. I mean, they're playing the Bills. They're... Patriots are favored to lose, but Jets are starting Flacco. Mike White really struggled. Yeah. Clearly, they're going to be going after a quarterback next uh, over the offseason. Dolphins are starting Mike Glennon, I think. Yeah, like they've Dolphins. gone from Tua to Teddy Bridgewater to Skylar Thompson to Mike Glennon. Like, come on. There's no one better no, yeah, in free agency I, there, or practice squad. There happens or to be someone in the uh, free agency named Cam Newton. Sure, he might not be the MVP he once was, but he's better than Mike Glennon and Skylar Thompson and Teddy Bridgewater right now. And you can't tell me I'm wrong. I won't tell you. Please, you're pick, <laughs> someone needs to pick him up. He's better. There's not 32 quarterbacks better than him. And I can tell you that right now. But that's besides the point. I think the Jets are going to win. I mean, it's it's crazy. Like the Dolphins, completely skidding right now. They're kind of like the Titans. They were rolling. People were saying maybe this is the best team in the AFC. Like after week three, and and they've lost now like like six or seven straight. I think six in a row. So they're really struggling. Joe Flacco, he played good in his first couple of games. He did a, a great comeback win against the Browns back in week two. I mean, hey, don't bring that up. Sorry, man. But like he's we win that game. We make he's the a veteran. He's proven that he can win. Uh, he's won a Super Bowl. I mean, granted, he was carried by his defense, but like Joe Flacco, he's a, he's a serviceable guy, and I think he's better than Mike Clennon. And the Jets' defense is good enough to win. I hate how convincing you were because I have the Dolphins for this. <laughs> I have the Dolphins for this. I think that they have a lot more to play for. Which, which they do. They, they, they absolutely they have, they have do. a whole lot more to play for. I mean, yeah. the Jets have nothing to play for other than, you know, proving why they need a quarterback next year. But, like, the thing is, like, the Jets are good. Like, I'm not going to lie. The Jets are literally just, like, a cor- an A-minus quarterback away from making a deep playoff run. And I truly believe that. If they, I honestly think that if they pick up someone like Derek Carr, Tom Brady, I mean, they're not going to get Lamar Jackson, but he's going to be a free agent this year. Could. I mean, they're not going to. They don't have the cap space for that. But, like, you get any, like, decent quarterback, and the Jets, honestly, like, they they had a chance to make the playoffs up until last week. They weren't eliminated. And they were playing, like, trash with Zach Wilson and Mike White. So, get them a good quarterback next year, and they're probably in the playoffs for the next three years at least. Dolphins have a lot more to play for. I don't know why you're starting a guy that I didn't know was in the NFL. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. I mean, the titans had the smart idea to pick up josh dobbs off the lions practice squad which is like yeah go check out some practice squads around the league i guarantee there's a guy better than him like I, it's stupid but i assume that the dolphins know what they're doing i assume that they're not tanking and want to make the playoffs so i'm gonna go dolphins i think they have a lot more to play for i think they want it more i'm not confident but i'm gonna go dolphins nonetheless yeah 
How much we'll see. It's we'll going to be interesting. There's a lot, if I get a lot this of, wrong, I get it wrong. Right, there's I a lot no of stuff idea. up for grabs. It's going to be interesting for sure. Definitely. Oh, you skipped one. There we go. All right. Buccaneers at Falcons. So this game, don't recommend watching. Not no. going to be a lot. Bucks, no. one of the few teams that are, will be resting starters. They have nothing to win or lose. Yep, um, they have the four seed in yeah. the NFC. They literally can't go up, and it is impossible for them to go down. Yeah, uh, so I really, maybe Kyle Trask will be quarterback. Maybe Brady will play, like, two drives. I think that'd be dumb, but who knows? And the Falcons are not good. They put my mic down. Yeah, there you go. There go. And the Falcons are not good, and they're boring to watch. Desmond Ritter hasn't looked great, but I think he will beat the Bucks practice squad. I, yeah. I have Falcons winning. This. Yeah, same. Like, yeah, the Buccaneers are gonna, aren't going to play anyone. Like, literally, they if, shouldn't. I mean, there's oh, yeah, no it, reason they should. It'd be so stupid too, and I doubt they will. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm. Why am I blanking on the Todd Bowles? Yeah, Todd Bowles a, isn't an idiot. Like, he's a bad coach, but he's not. He's a bad that coach, though. but he's not right. that stupid. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he's been around the block in the NFL for a little bit. I mean, he was with the Jets for a while, there, and they haven't been to the playoffs in, ever. But, like, he's not stupid. The Falcons don't have anything to play for either, but like, why wouldn't you play your guys? Like, you're gonna play your young guys. You're not good anyways. Like, get some more practice in. Congratulations! It's a scrimmage for the end of the year. The Buccaneers, literally, if you if they have a name in the NFL, they will not be playing. Like, if you recognize, if I were to say a name and you recognize it, they're not playing in this game. Probably not. They shouldn't. Yeah. Like, they should be playing their practice squad. So all, Falcons. Yeah, that's all there is to say. Falcons. I'm not I don't like picking the Falcons. They're not a good team, but at least I know some of their players going into this game. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Next up, I think is the Panthers game. Yeah. So Panthers at so Saints. What's Debbie laughing at? How did Debbie know that? That's crazy. Um <laughs> Debbie predicted that I will have a fit about this game. I'm gonna have a fit, but so if you've been watching us all season, you because know it's the Aints, Kaden. It is the Aints. You know that uh, I have been a little bit bipolar at times, <laughs> and like one week I'm like Panthers need to tank, and then the next week I'm like let's win the Super Bowl, and then the next week we tank, and then it's happened I think at least like ten times. But oh, ten, we've had seventeen weeks. It's happened at least eighteen times. <laughs> <laughs> but like going into this, Panthers were eliminated last week. I, I really don't know what they're going to do at coach. I mean. Steve Wilkes was completely out coached last week by not even a good coach, but like the whole team wants him there. So what makes me nervous that like if we would get someone else, would the team be mad? Would some of the players leave? I mean, all the players are putting on like, I mean, this doesn't mean much, but the players are putting on their Instagrams. Like we want Wilkes and like people are really advocating for Wilkes to be the coach. So I'm like, I don't, I, I, it's going to be interesting to see what they do at quarterback this off season at coach at a bunch of stuff. But they still got a game to play. Running back. Running back. I mean, they got Foreman, who was great this season, but do they draft one? I mean, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. This game, I mean, ultimately, it doesn't matter. Panthers need the higher pick. Panthers should lose this game to get the higher pick. They don't have anything to win. Should also lose this game to get the better schedule. Next season, we talked about that. <laughs> but, but like, it's the Aints. And, and if you know me personally, you know... That I can't stand this. Like, I have... As he wears their colors. <laughs> no, this is not Saints colors. This is... It definitely is. Stop. I mean, that looks the same. Let me take this off real quick. <laughs> it looks the no, same if you guys I can't... Do this with your arms real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> yeah. No, I... <laughs> I can't stand... Like, Saints are obviously my least favorite team in the league by a long shot. Like, Jabriz, least favorite player ever. I'm sorry. You're, you're a great player, but I can't stand you. Sean Payton? Can't stand him. Like... I don't like the Saints. I never have liked the Saints, and I won't like the Saints. Like, so it's like, do we need to lose this game? Technically, we probably should. It'd be the right, smart thing to do. But am I rooting for us to? No, because we're playing the Saints. So like, and I think we'll beat the Saints. Yeah, I mean, we're rolling too. right now, sort of. I mean, we put up a lot of points against the Bucks. We just yeah. didn't have anyone. Uh, JC Horn's not playing again because why would you put him in if he's hurt? Yeah. And you don't have anything to play for. But they don't have Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. They have 
Vapor Alave, Alave, who who is good, is good, but he's not Mike Evans and Chris Alave or Mike Evans and Godwin. Right. Yeah, I agree with you. Panthers are going to win this. They shouldn't. Like they they should tank for it. But I mean, so sweet keep, sweet. Kill, hey, kill the people in your division. Sweep the Saints. That's a W season right there. I I can't complain. I mean, you go into the Panthers go into the season. I have two games. Panthers or Panthers Saints. Panthers Saints. <laughs> if they win those, it's a W season. I can't with that team. So please win. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So. Texans. I don't know what I was about to say. Cowboys, man. <laughs> Texans at Colts. Um, the Texans need to lose. To lose. Yeah, right. They like clinched. They, they clinched the the first overall pick with a loss. With they a do. win, they probably have the second pick because of the win. The Bears are probably going to lose. So with a win, they're going to. The Bears would jump them for the first pick. Yeah. I. I. It's it's possible. It is possible that the Texans win in my mind. It's very possible. It's it's possible. I don't feel like they're stupid enough to win, but I feel like I'm giving them too much credit. <laughs> I have the Colts winning this game. Yeah. Oh, 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 never mind. I have the Colts winning this game, not because the Colts are good no. by any stretch of the imagination, but I think that the Texans will be better at losing. The Texans will beat themselves on purpose if that's what it takes. Sure. I mean, Jeff Saturday was brought to the Colts to lose games. Everybody knows that. There's no way you hired this man thinking you're going to win. Like, come on. But, like, so obviously the Colts are trying to lose, get a high pick. The Texans are trying to lose. Like, no one might. This might be a 0-0 tie. Like, it's a very (laughs) real possibility. But, like, hey, if they tie, Bears get the one. Yeah. No, I think Texans do because they would each have a tie. Wait, no. The Bears haven't died. The Texans have. I don't know how that would work, actually. Because then they'd have the same record. In the, or the Bears would have one more loss than the Texans. Oh, then the Bears, the Texans would still have it. Even if the Bears had one more loss? Mm-hmm. I don't think the so. Bears? Oh, wait. Oh, I actually have no idea. Well, we might have to look at the end of the episode. We'll look oh, something up. If, we'll, we'll look at the end of the episode. Um... Man, I'm going to go Texans. I mean, it might just be because I'm really rooting for the Texans because I really want the Bears to get the first pick. The Bears have the first pick. Absolutely, too. I want them to get the first pick. But the Texans, they're, they've are they shown that they can win games. I mean, they beat the Titans, who were Titans are struggling, but they've proved that they can win. I mean, the Colts can't win. I mean, they beat the Raiders. Ooh, ooh, congrats. <laughs> they, they blew a 33-point lead. You can't tell me you're trying to win if you blow a 33-point lead. That's Tank Master to the max. I mean, they're not trying to win. Jeff Saturday is going to become the interim coach to end all interim coaches. There will never be another interim coach in the NFL not named Jeff Saturday. He's going to become everyone's interim coach. Exactly. Every time that anyone fires a head coach, and they're like, man, we just need to tank right now. Bring in the Saturday. Mm. And then he just comes in and he tanks your team, and it's going to be great. The Texans, I think, are going to win. It could be... I'm really rooting for him to win. I want the Bears to get that first pick and trade back. Dude, this is going to be a boring game, but it's going to be interesting. I'm going to watch this very intently because it's interesting. Both teams don't want to win. I mean, and I'm sure the Colts even more want to win, not only because it helps them a lot, or the Colts want the Texans to win because not only a loss helps them with their tank complete, and um, a Texans win hurts the Texans, and that's their division rival. Mm-hmm. Hey man, go <laughs> Texans! Let's go. Hey, I'm all for that. I don't think it'll happen. I think the Colts will still win this, but I would not be. Look, I'm already so far behind. Like the Waffle House is right, as good right. as mine. Absolutely. So I wouldn't be upset if I. We have a graphic at the end of the if show. I, if I wouldn't be upset <laughs> if I lost this one, and the Texans ended up winning. That 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 make me happy. Absolutely, that would make me happy. Yeah. All right. Next on the agenda here. Is um not much to say. Uh 49ers, 49ers, okay. 49ers by 49. Yeah, let's really not spend too much time. Um 49ers, they can still play for the one seed. Uh they're one of the hottest teams in the NFL. Brock Purdy is still undefeated. And the Cardinals have I don't even know at quarterback. Probably Trace McSorley. Doesn't matter. I don't even care if it was Kyler Murray. They wouldn't come close in this game. Nope. Niners 
by a long shot. Really, is there anything else to say? Yeah, uh, more or less than 30. The, the I, I, I think it'll be less because I think they'll be up by a lot and then they'll just rest players. Because depending on what they see in the earlier games... Here's what I want to know. Here's what I, here's what I want to know, Caden. Picture this. Okay. Niners go up by three scores. Okay, at halftime. Realistic. Realistic. Niners go up by three scores at halftime. Okay. They rest all their guys. Who on earth is behind Brock Purdy? Their quarterbacks have just gotten better. Who's behind Brock Purdy? That's what I want to know. Dude, they're going to bring in like Tom Brady Jr. <laughs> Tom Brady just sunk, just like walks on the field. No, honestly, I mean, they obviously have to, they have a dude behind them. They probably signed some dude after Garoppolo. Cam Newton. Question mark. No, he's not no. better than Purdy right now, probably. But actually, that's a good question. Maybe they'll bring in like Debo to play. Oh, Debo's hurt. Debo's Just, hurt. Yeah, they'll bring in Kittle. Kittle will play. Kittle quarterback. play quarterback. Yeah, McCaffrey. McCaffrey threw earlier this year. He can play. Quarterback. McCaffrey threw early. He threw a touchdown earlier this year. He threw a touchdown for the Panthers like three years ago. You can play quarterback. You can play quarterback. You can. Actually, you probably should not play him. He's one of the more fragile players. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> true. He's definitely a guy that you don't want to play. In this so game. true. So true. But yeah, Niners right. by whatever. Yeah, by win. whatever they want to win by. Sunday night game. Wait, no, no, no. Four no. o'clock game. Four o'clock yeah, still game. Four. I was pranking you. <laughs> You're pulling my leg there. <laughs> um, Cowboys by whatever yeah. they want. Cowboys at Washington. Washington was eliminated last week by the Browns. The Browns. <laughs> Let's go. Sam Howell is starting in this game, which I think he's a good quarterback. He was quarterback for North Carolina yeah. last year. And he was he was projected to go top two in the draft going into the last season. And then he really struggled. His offensive line at North Carolina was bad. I mean, and he dropped to like the third or fourth round. But I think he's a good quarterback. I think he has a chance to be their starter next year. I mean, he's a it's a pretty good quarterback. It would be interesting to see how he plays. I don't know if he's going to be given a fair shot. I think they'll probably try to uh, approach a new quarterback this offseason, but I think the Cowboys will win. Yeah, I mean, Cowboys need to win. Yeah, The Cowboys can still take the division if the Eagles lose, can still take the one seed if the Eagles lose. So, I mean, it's a big deal for the Cowboys to try to win this game, and they're playing a team that, to be honest, isn't very good. And uh, like you said, they're starting their third string guy. So, Cowboys. Yeah. Again, not much to talk about. There's a couple of boring games in here. Oh, and now we get to... All right, Jack. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I was going to say. <laughs> I hope he's still listening. Right, now I'm we're so. going to talk about... Oh, sweet. Okay, so we got the game that we sort of talked about. I mean, we got... Holy smokes. You I... forget the team name? No, it's Rams. Rams. But like, I read the... <laughs> I, like, I don't know what... Holy crap. Okay. Concussion yeah, the concussion... I guess. Concussion is the best of you sometimes. Rams at Seahawks. So, Lions. Jack, um, very interesting for them. If the Rams win, you're obviously rooting for you to beat the Packers on Sunday night. If the Seahawks win, you're rooting for you guys to lose and just get a better pick. As a Lions fan, we already said, I think you're rooting for the Rams. Get in the playoffs. It's a lot more exciting and fun than a pick. I'm a couple picks higher. Who do I think is going to win? Probably the Seahawks, unfortunately. Actually, no. Pretend I didn't say that. I okay. think... What did you say? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Honestly, the Seahawks are not good. I mean, they were great in the beginning and middle of the year, but they fell off. They beat the Jets last week, but Mike White he fell off after his three-week hur- hurrah. I mean, and Baker, he has, he'll do great one week and terrible next week. If you remember... The Seahawks barely beat the Rams just a couple weeks ago, like six weeks ago. Yeah. They barely beat them. And and didn't the, the Rams have a, like the guy from the back of a Campbell soup can. Yeah. yeah. Who was it? John Wolford. Yeah. Yeah. Like now they have Baker. I'm not saying Baker's good, but he's better than John Wolford. And, and Baker goes good one week, bad next week. Good one. Like he played good on the Thursday night game, bad the next week. And then a couple weeks later, 51 points on the Broncos bad last week against the Chargers. That means good this week against the Seahawks. I think the Rams are going to win. Mess up the Seahawks. I'm hoping it happens. Hey. I really want the Lions to get in the playoffs. And I'm sure I'm, I, it could happen. This is a possibility. I mean, Seahawks are struggling. I mean, yeah, they beat the, the Jets last week, but they had Mike White and he's fell off again. Yeah. 
No, Seahawks. <laughs> I mean, yeah, see, I this is the point in the year where it's like your team's riddled with injuries. Like I mean, it's not hurting the Rams if they win. No, it's not. No, yeah. the Rams have nothing. They have no picks. They have nothing to tank for. Until 2034. Right, exactly. The Rams <laughs> just don't have a pick ever. But it's at this point in the year where it's like, if you want to make the playoffs and you have more to play for, you just have to come out and you have to play for it. And like you have to give it everything you have for 60 minutes. And the Rams, while sure, they want to mess up the Seahawks, and I'm sure they'd love that. I mean, I know I would if I was in the division. Like, yeah. why wouldn't you want to mess up your divisional rivals? But at the same time, like, there's only so far that your body can go before you're like, okay, that's enough. The Seahawks have a chance to make the playoffs. And they need, they need to win, and then they need the Lions to beat the Packers. So I, th- I feel like once they get to that point of physical exhaustion, they need to, like, kick it over to the mental and because they have something to play for and something to look forward to and the playoffs to make, they'll have enough in there to take it there. And I think the Seahawks will take it. It'll, I think it'll be close. It, Absolutely. It'll be very close. And it'll take them to the last drive. But I think Seahawks are going to win. Could happen. Probably better chance, but... You never know. You never know. It's week 18. It's divisional game. Yeah, anything can happen. Exactly. And I think we got one game left. Should be the oh, Lions game. Well, right? okay, um, a few games left. Go to that one. Uh, Jack says, "Should the Colts coach and owner go directly to jail for trying to steal Jim Harbaugh from the Wolverines?" <laughs> and that <laughs> that maybe just well, uh, he's a Lions fan, so he's probably a team well, up north yeah. fan too. Oh, oh that didn't. Oh, oh, what do you man. think will happen? Do you think Jack? They will... How about TCU? Oh, just, <laughs> we lost too. It's okay. Do you think they will have him as a coach? I don't think Jim Harbaugh will go. No, Jim Harbaugh's not going to the Colts. Really? Yeah. I think because. I mean, this is kind of college, but it's the same thing. Um, you heard about his allegation, right? I didn't, know. So he's being, in, like, Michigan's talking about getting investigated because he was apparently on a recruit visit with a recruit, and you obviously can't pay recruits. And he bought the recruit he was with a hamburger. And he's being investigated for that because that's paying recruit, like, seven fifty or whatever the hamburger costs. Yeah. So it's like, He's being investigated. So a lot of people are saying maybe Harbaugh will dip out of there, leave that mess, and just go to the NFL. I I think it's could have, that's a possibility. Yeah, I don't think he will. I mean, he, he said last week he said he expects to stay with Michigan, but then all this came out, and it's like there's a good chance he he dips out of there now. I mean, is there more? Yeah. Than just that, I don't think. No, so. he's doing so well up there right now. Oh, like, he's doing great. His his team, like his job, was in such jeopardy two years ago. Like they were like, Jim Harbaugh was not it, and then he finally found his groove. He went back to what he was mm-hmm. doing in San Francisco, and now he's doing well again. He finally found his stride up there, which is unfortunate. <laughs> but he's beat us twice in a row. But... Fine, I guess. But. I mean, he's doing well, and assuming that he doesn't get suspended for his entire life for buying a hamburger for a recruit, it, which so is, dumb. it which is so dumb because the, no, like it's so stupid. It's so like I understand that you can't pay a recruit because Doug, you're not paying the recruit. You're like here, I will be friendly and buy you your cheeseburger. Like, come on, NCAA, that's stupid. And there's kids out here making a couple million dollars off of their name and likeness from the NIL deals now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how are those allowed, but you're still not allowed to buy a hamburger? Like, I understand, don't buy them, like, a car, because that's going to sway them right. to come to your school, and you want them to come to your school because they want your school and your team, and not because you're giving them the most stuff, because then they're just professional players, which is not what you're looking for. But a hamburger? So stupid. Dude, it's less than $10. Like, come on, it's not that deep. So, <laughs> assuming that he doesn't get in trouble and suspended for life in the NCAA, doesn't hang up a do not let this man in any stadiums poster outside, you know, they're whatever headquarters i i assume he'll stay in michigan yeah oh we still have another game yeah we have a couple oh, more but games this game is gonna be we don't even need to talk about this eagles can still play for the one seed giants and their division right and giants clinch the division not much to say they're not or not their division they clinch the sixth seed yeah there's nothing to play for they can't go up or down they'll, they'll rest every single play. oh yeah you'll you'll see kenny galladay in this game kenny galladay will <laughs> he play could get the 76 catches um <laughs> it could happen but yeah but whoever uh, they're playing at quarterback won't be giving it to yeah. them. eagles by yes hmm. yeah 
Okay. And and I wouldn't be surprised, to be completely honest with you, if Jalen Hurts did start this game. Because, For sure. I mean, they need to win. The Eagles need to win because not only do they, if they lose, will they probably lose the one seed? Like, they will lose the one mm-hmm. seed. But they also probably won't get their division either. And now they're a wild card team, which is such a more difficult road to the playoffs. So they need to win. Would not be surprised at all if Jalen Hurts start this, starts this game. And then once they get up by a couple, then they start pulling their guys out. Yeah. Every every starter will start this game for yeah. the Eagles. Yeah. Except for the Giants, none of them will play. Right. None of the Giants starters will play. They're out. They're done. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nothing no, else no, to say about that. that. And then we got the biggest game. I think the one of the bigger games of the week. No, really? oh, just kidding. Really? This game. Is this the biggest game for you? No, 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 no. I did not know this game was a thing. Chargers <laughs> win. Actually, no. Actually, yeah. I don't know. Chargers. I'm going to go Chargers yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that the Chargers kind of have that seed locked, and yeah. they, they're, they're playoff clinched, and they can't really play for a better seeding. Like, it's just... It's the Broncos. That's what it is. But they're playing the Broncos, and I don't care if you pick up old ladies off the street and say, congratulations, you're playing in the NFL now. Here's $100. Like, I don't care. They'll probably still beat the Broncos. Yeah, I don't care if their backups are in. I think that they can beat the Broncos. I mean... I do too. I they did almost beat the Chiefs, but that means nothing, because they almost did it earlier. Yeah, they all, they all... Yeah. Stupid. Chargers. Very stupid. All right. Now... Biggest game of now the week. The game. Hopefully. Yeah, there, there we go. go. There we go. <laughs> All right, Lions at Packers. Basically, a win in, it is a win and in for the Packers. It's a little more complicated for the Lions. The Lions have to win, and like we talked about earlier, the Rams have to win as well. Um, who, what are you thinking for this game, Caden? All right, so you know that I am not high on Aaron Rodgers. Really? This, oh, I, I didn't pick up yeah, on that. Yeah, no, you didn't? I'm not high on Aaron Rodgers this season. And yet, literally everything has gone right for them. They needed, like, the Dolphins to lose some... Or, no, not the Dolphins. I mean, they needed to beat the Dolphins, and they somehow did, because Tua got concussed. Uh, they needed so much stupid stuff, and it all happened. Yeah. It's so stupid. So, like, Good work. they literally... Good work, all they gotta do is beat the Lions, who they've kind of terrorized... With Aaron Rodgers for the last however many years in Lambeau <laughs> on Sunday night. But the Lions are going to watch, not watch, but they're going to look at the score of the Rams Seahawks game. They're going to see the Rams beat the Seahawks. And they're going to be like, holy crap, if we win, we're in. And so they, yeah, obviously the Packers have that same amount to play for. The Packers have been in many, like so many times, and it's like it, they—it's ex- almost like the Packers expect to get in. I mean, they're f- favored in this game; they're favored to make the playoffs. Everyone's just writing off the Lions. It seems like, like where, why? Because the Lions have—why wh- are you writing this team off? They've won like eight of the last ten. Like, there's no point to that. Sorry, the, you, the all eight of those wins were flukes. You beat the Vikings. You beat a lot of good teams. I don't remember them off the top of my head, but like. Why are you rating this team off? Yeah, the line, the Packers are rolling right now, but like they haven't won eight out of ten. The Lions have. I'm picking the Lions. Sure, if the if the Rams lose, they'll probably lose because there's no point to them winning. But Aaron Rodgers and I'm sure Lions. How great would it be for you guys to win and knock Aaron Rodgers out of the playoffs? It won't happen. It could happen and it, it will happen. It won't. Lions, I am going to be rooting for you Sunday night. That doesn't matter. I mean, you don't care about my rooting, but. I think you guys can win. I mean, why are people writing them off? They're one of the hotter teams in the league. Aside from one game where we ran the ball for like 320 yards on you guys. Well, aside from that, whoopsies. Yeah, oops. That's our bad. We kind of hurt you guys there. But like, aside from that, whatever. Like, you guys are rolling. Yeah. Packers are going to take this game. They absolutely shut down the Vikings offense last week. Packers defense is very good. The Vikings played at four. Keep that in mind. Uh, th- that can't be real. Okay. It can't be real, but look at the stats and the record. Like, they have, they don't they win. Got, they got shut down. Okay. They don't win if they don't play at one o'clock. It's, it, yeah, it seems like a joke, but it's a real thing. Packers are going to win this game. Their defense has been very good these last couple of weeks. They finally turned it on. The Lions have literally the worst defense in the league. Like, they literally have the 32nd ranked defense in the league. The Packers offense hasn't been doing 
fantastic, but they've been doing well enough to score points and win them games. I'm going to take the Packers in this. Jack, if you're still listening, follow the KNA Football Instagram so you know when we're doing our recap on Monday. And then you can join in the live on Monday. And me and you can celebrate that the Lions won and Lions made the playoffs. Me and you. I'm going to wear Austin, a- Austin can sit here and, and mourn because Aaron Rodgers didn't make the playoffs. But me and you can celebrate. Even though this game won't end till midnight, Monday morning, like before we record, I'm going to go to every store in the area and I'm going to buy find a big cheese hat. I'm going to There's drive, no one in our area. I'm going to drive to the Hall of Fame. There's a cheese hat to the Hall of Fame. Oh, they probably do. I'm going to drive to the Hall of Fame and uh, buy a cheese hat. You would. Just to wear it when uh when the Packers make the playoffs. I won't. I, I, I have no need for a <laughs> cheese hat. is the type of guy that actually would do that, though. I but, would do that. But Jack, be here on Monday. Follow the Instagram and then boom. Yeah. I think so. All right. So Debbie made a nice little graphic because Debbie doesn't understand when play how playoffs work. So we are here to explain to Debbie and to you if you don't understand. Don't even lie. You don't. <laughs> read, your, read your chart. Debbie, do you understand how the playoffs work? <laughs> Debbie, okay. All right. So Debbie's going to explain to us oh, yes. what, how this oh, works. Oh, Debbie says absolutely not. <laughs> Debbie's Debbie shaking his head. Yeah. You can't see it. But. Okay. There's so, a reason why you guys are the hosts. <laughs> the so we got facts. Debbie, you are the tech person. You know all the stuff producing. I did. With my concussion, I, I went back and I listened to some of the episodes from like a while ago. I went back and I listened to the. um the logo episode mm. where Debbie and Sue Ellen were talking about. And then all you could hear was Debbie just getting so angry because me and you could not figure out like the technicalities of anything. Like, it was so sure, funny. Sure. And it's only gotten more complicated <laughs> since then. So there's no way we're we tried to upload out. one episode and it took us like an hour and a half. And Debbie was Debbie. on the phone the whole time. <laughs> it was a struggle. But so we got the wild card round starts next week. There'll be three games on Saturday, three games on Sunday. And then next week, would be the divisional, two games on Saturday, two on Sunday. And then the AFC and NFC championships would be on a Sunday, just both of them back to back. And then the Super Bowl is obviously Super Bowl Sunday this year, February 12th. Yeah. The good news about playoffs is that you can watch every game. Yeah. Like games don't overlap. Mm-hmm. You know, you you got the games at, for for the wild card, you get games at one, four twenty five. And 8.30 mm-hmm. on Perfect. Saturday, and then same thing on Sunday, so you can watch every game. It's great. For the divisional round, you can do the same thing. Championship Sunday, Dude, great. Well, me and you and Debbie and Sue Ellen, and maybe and sometimes a couple other people, have, have gotten together for a lot of games this during the season. Like a good game of like, yo, let's do something tonight. Like watch the game. We should get together for every oh, one of these games. Oh, that's exactly what I was going to say. I'm sure we will be together at least for... Just stay overnight. Dude, honestly, like, yeah, let's just do it. I, honestly, next week, because I, I don't know why we're playing this on the podcast, but who cares? No, you don't. You are homeschooled. <laughs> um, so we, I, it was a joke. I'm not, I'm not talking on you. So we got next Saturday. No, honestly, we got next Saturday. We got one, two, three, four, or one, four, eight. Yeah. One, four, eight. Like we could watch all of these games. All of us could watch all these games together. 100%. Or at least a very va- ha- vast majority. Yeah. Yeah. So, one more time, we'll walk you through the. Uh, no, before that. Um, <laughs> we got a nice little graphic here on the screen. We got a very nice picture of Austin. I don't know how that's edited because Debbie is him and yeah, edits. Nice. But we got I think a toddler drew that. <laughs> that's a picture drawn. Uh, so we got Austin, and then we got a little a uh, timeline, sort of. Yeah, yeah. it's through the mystical forest. I didn't even see the background. We got the mystical force in the back. So we got week 18 <laughs> next. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. It's weird, but it's funny. So we, then we got the wild card. Then we got the divisional. Then the conference championships. Then the Super Bowl. And then Waffle House. Have you been, have you, have you prepared? Like, have you done some research, like how to consume the most amount of waffles in 24 hours or like. How much is he down? Let me pull it up. I. He's have, down by like 20 or 19 or 21. I have not eaten a waffle in hey that's probably good a couple months to be honest with that's, you that's probably oh then we'll, no you know you're gonna be it's gonna be so fun I, I i can't wait i can wait it's okay i don't need to hey good thing good thing it's not cut season yet it is i got soccer i got soccer Dude, man uh, this probably will be debbie says no okay um <laughs> 
Oh, oh, that's my bad. I was touching the mic. Illegal. But yeah, I mean, this is going to be in probably late February. It will probably be cut season by then. Yeah. You're going to be putting on some extra pounds. Yeah, nice. It's going to be it's gonna be rough. But yeah, so... Yeah, so... What happened if you weren't here at the beginning of the season? Oh, yeah, yeah. When I we... I'll listen. When we went over... So, Caden and I, every... Oh. Oh, like this. Oh, what, what are you listening? We'll start here. Oh, oh, we can go through every single right. week. I love this. This is terrible. All right, so we yeah, perfect. Why are we no. doing this? Like so, next so week? when we decided to do the podcast, we were going to do a pickums, and we decided there needs to be a punishment. So we did a vote. We put it up on our Instagram. Go follow it, ka underscore football, and shameless plug. Yep. And uh, so we put a poll on, like what uh, people could vote. Well, first people could type and like sit, give us some ideas for punishment. Yeah. And then we chose some of the ones that we loved. And we made a poll where people voted. And this one destroyed. Like, everyone voted this one. Yeah, everyone voted for the I spent, or the loser, not I, <laughs> but the loser of the yeah. Pick'ems, whoever gets the most games wrong, will spend 24 hours in a Waffle House, and for every waffle that you eat is one hour off the time you spend there. So, you know, week one starts off pretty strong. I mean, I was behind by a couple, but I mean, that's to be expected. It's week one. Caden got really lucky, kind of got everything right. And then, oh yeah, we're rolling here. From there, it just kind of <laughs> got a little bit worse. So just start scrolling through these, Debbie, because six. six isn't terrible. Oh, and then we added these, you know, this actually, you guys can't tell, but like, it's a lot of like, it takes us so long. It shouldn't, yeah. because we're kind of like, me. it takes me. You. So long. No, we, we got to calculate all the numbers uh, and give you the numbers. These percentages? Oh, that's me. That's Caden. It's yeah, Rob. That's me. Because yeah. Caden's not very smart. No. <laughs> I, sometimes I mess up typing things on my calculator on my phone. But yeah, let's just keep going through these things. I mean, it's perfect. I mean, yeah. Up we seven, just... up 10, up 10, up 12, 13. I mean, it's just it, it steadily just, increasing. It just, it just gets bigger. 15 now, 16. I mean, I, I'm just making progress. Yeah, there was a point there where I got pretty close. Yeah, again. wait, is it was it? Th- no, that was week six. That was that was no, close. Just, you can never ch- or Debbie never changed the number up there. It's just oh, week six. Oh, it's week yeah, six. <laughs> so it's just like I got pretty close for a little while. Yeah, there. He got to 12. I think that was the closest. Yeah, yeah, yeah right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, week that 12. That was like this was like three or four weeks ago, and I was like, holy smokes! Like, I made a little now. bit of a run there, and then it kind of fell off and. Now we're back in fifteen. And now I think it's hit twenty. Is this the thing right now? Oh, oh yeah, twenty. Oh 20. man. So right now we're sitting at one fifty-five to one thirty-five. I mean, yeah. In uh, case you couldn't tell, seeing as how there's only what six, eight, yeah, ten, eleven, twelve. There's thirteen games left after this week, uh, and we didn't differ on that many. So it's it's mathematically impossible for me to come back at this point, unless. We, uh, is it really mathematically possible? I don't know. I hope so. After is after that, this week, if you hold a twenty I can point, back and if you hold a twenty point lead after this week or a fourteen point lead after this week, it's it's mathematically impossible for me oh, to win. Yeah. Come to the uh, well, hey hey, maybe we can have some people come to Waffle House. We might do that. Yeah, I like that idea. We'll obviously talk more about the Waffle House when we get closer, which we're inching closer every week. But right now, we got football to focus on. Football, not Waffle House. No one likes Waffle sure. House, anyways. Not the dog on Waffle House. If you want to sponsor us, oh, go for right. it. What are you pulling up? Oh, Debbie's pulling up the playoff picture, which we will finally cover on Monday. We'll have the finalized playoff picture. We're yeah. going to start covering playoff games. It was going to be a lot of fun. Definitely. I can't believe... I mean, this is going to be the last time we see a lot of these teams until yeah, next until September, next year. which it's is going to be sad. crazy. Yeah, so you got... No, the Chiefs haven't clinched the one seed yet. Well, Google was wrong. Um, yeah, division is not uh, one seed. So I know that. <laughs> Do you, Debbie? <laughs> okay, so wait. If the Chiefs lose, and the Bills win. The Bills will be thirteen and three, and the Chiefs will be thirteen and four. So Bills will be one. All right, but will be one? Or did Roger Goodell, way to game? make it so confusing. You are the greatest. Yeah, who knows? I guess it technically wouldn't matter because they would all play a home game. Okay. What? Look at this. The Chiefs clinched the number one seed with a win at the Raiders. With a win loss. at the Raiders. Yeah, they play the Raiders today. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they haven't clinched yet. Yeah, no, I know. Or a Bills loss versus the Patriots. Yes. Yeah. So they haven't clinched yet. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so that th- that means if the Bills win and the Chiefs lose, Bills get one. 
Yeah, which makes it less confusing. Which, like, like we said, realistically, it doesn't matter because the Chiefs will play the fives, or no, the Chiefs will play the seven seed. The Bills will play, or it would matter because they get the bye week. Yeah, so confusing. Roger Goodell, what am I guess? At Roger Goodell, <laughs> fix this. This is a problem. It's all right. It's fine. We'll figure it out as we go. But either way, as of now, Chiefs are one, Bills two, Bengals three. Chargers should not be four. Who's four? Four is the winner of tonight's game. Fair enough. So four will be either the Titans or Jaguars. Probably Jaguars to be realistic. Then the Chargers. Wait, click this. Tie breaking procedures. Where? Uh, no, no, no. Down, down, down. Oh, up, 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 up. Right. Oh, right there. Nailed it. Oh, that's a lot. Never mind. I don't want to read that much. So. Oh, this is just like. I thought this meant like it would show teams. Oh, okay, yeah. This is like the NFL rule. Okay, yeah, we don't care. This is unfortunate. All right, so one more time, we'll run you through what each team needs to do to make the playoffs if they're on the outside looking in. So, like we already said, Steelers need a win at the Browns, uh, need the Patriots to lose, and Dolphins to lose. So, it's quite a lot for the Steelers. It's kind of a long shot for the AFC. The Dolphins need to beat the Jets, and the Patriots lose. Again, real possibility. Patriots need to win against the Bills or Dolphins, Steelers, and Titans lose. Real possibility. Titans need to beat the Jags and the Jags need to beat the Titans or Steelers, Patriots, and Dolphins lose. So there's a lot of paths in the AFC for a lot of teams to get in because realistically any of those teams can lose. So it's there's a lot that can happen in the AFC and the picture can look totally different from what it looks like right now. The NFC, there's only three teams that can take that last seed. That would be the Seahawks, who need to beat the Rams and have the Packers lose. The Lions need Jack's to, team. Yeah, need to beat the Packers <laughs> and the Seahawks lose. And the Packers just need to beat the Lions. So, very interesting. Should be exciting to see what actually happens. It's going to be a lot of chaos starting at 425 today. Oh, yeah. It should be exciting. I'm, I'm excited for it. I am too. But, yeah, not much else to say. I don't got anything else. Go... Yeah. Go Lions. I'll be rooting for you. I'll be rooting with you, Jack. Go Packers. <laughs> Not that I want the Lions to lose, but I really like Aaron Rodgers. So sorry about that. Well, thank you guys for you know, sticking with us through this episode and for almost the entire regular season now. It's been fun. We're looking forward Dude, to... It sounded like you were about to get emotional. I, I was like, no crying. shot. No, no. Austin's about to start crying. I'm going to start crying on the podcast. <laughs> no. Uh, really looking forward to getting into the postseason with you guys. Really looking forward to unfortunately getting into Caden and I's predictions preseason for what we thought would happen and then how it actually stacked that up. is going to be rough I can it's tell you gonna that be right a rough now. episode let me tell you we're gonna <laughs> you might actually see me cry for how wrong I was <laughs> thank you guys for sticking with us and uh thank you guys for watching we'll catch you next time thanks for watching this episode of KNA football you can listen to our podcast wherever you get your podcasts and we're also active on Instagram TikTok and YouTube Shorts. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. You're a real one. We'll see you next time.